I'll tell you a story. The principal at that time was um, Francis Gates. And Mr. Gates must have thought I was his son, because I'd go to school and he'd give me his car keys. If something had to be delivered somewhere in the county, I drove his car. And he taught things like drama. I remember he taught us to dance. Uh, he taught me how to box. And uh, he was a, an all around uh, educator. Everybody says to me, I, I can't believe you're not bitter. And this was my answer, and it was then, and it will always be that way. My parents raised me to respect people, no matter what. And my, my daddy and mommy always said, don't ever let anybody see that they've got more manners than you. When he walked, he walked with authority. When he spoke, he spoke with authority. She was not only the, she taught English, she taught music, she taught art, and she taught French. And I walk in and I sit down, the principal tells me to sit down, I'm saying, well, what the heck am I in here for? And then he walks out, leaves me with the superintendent. And then he starts telling me how I was going to fail. I wouldn't be able to compete if I went up there. He starts laying out all the differences in the schools you have. What makes you think you're going to be able to compete if you go up there? So your principal tells me you want to go off to college. You're not, going to, you're not even going to be able to graduate if you go up there. He's sitting there saying to myself, what is this? I, I got angry. <laughs> so I think I can save us both a lot of time. I had, or oh, made up my mind that I wasn't going, but left to listen to you. I, I, I know I'm going, I'm going up there and I'm going to graduate. Dad always told me, he says, in this world, you can get anything you want if you have an education and you work hard.